My name is RJ Ledesma, and I am the co-founder of Mercato Central and an Enterprise Innovator Awardee for Business Model Innovation. Our 10-year journey in Mercato Central has been one of continuously innovating our business model. From an outdoor weekend morning market, which pivoted into a night food market. Then, when we better understood the key drivers of our business, we pivoted our business model into that of a food business incubator that helps small food businesses from ideation up to execution all the way to expansion via, number one, a training and education program with the Mercato Academy. Number two, through multiple market venues where they can incubate their concepts. Number three, an online marketplace to increase their reach. And very soon, number four, a cloud kitchen for us to scale up our small food businesses. For me, innovation is a unique solution to address a pain point that leverages your unfair advantage or secret sauce. This pandemic was a particularly harrowing experience for Mercato because we had to shut down all of our markets. But the silver lining was that it gave us an opportunity to review our brand essence as a food business incubator. Keeping that in mind, we asked ourselves, what new business models could we develop where we could remain an incubator but still innovate on that? This allowed us to go through iterative business models from community markets to online marketplaces until we came up with an appropriate model that embraced the opportunities that were presented by the new normal. And in some cases, they were even better business models than what we had in pre-pandemic. So for me, the key is to remind yourself how you can innovate your business model based on your brand ethics. Again, thank you very much. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, my fellow awardees. It is truly an honor and a privilege to be among the first set of Mansmith Innovation Awardees and to stand together side by side with all of you. I would also like to thank my good friends, Chiki Escarialgo and Josiah Go for putting this together. Uh, you've been my inspirations and my mentors for business as well. Uh, your thoughts on innovation and on, on building different marketing strategies have been very helpful. I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to also be your host and moderator for many of your, of your events because it is from your events where I've learned through osmosis and learned from all the different uh, uh, successful business people and entrepreneurs how, how to innovate and become more agile on my own. So I would first of all like to thank uh, my family, my parents in particular, uh, because they were the ones who fostered an entrepreneurial mindset uh, amongst all of us kids. And it was their training for me, even as a young child, to become an entrepreneur right now. I'd like to thank my family, especially my wife, who is my partner in business, whether she likes it or not. Uh, I would like to thank her for the inspiration, for working hand in hand with me, whether she likes it or not, but we love each other anyway. And for helping us weather through this crisis and, and, and grow the business. I'd like to thank my children, uh, my three children, uh, Fortune, Rene the third and uh, Lorenzo for being my inspiration and my motivation for continuously improving uh, the business. And I'd also like to thank uh, the Mercato ecosystem. Since we've been talking about ecosystem, I'd like to thank, first of all, the people who work with me, the people who, who have been, who have stood by the market for the past 10 years to help us grow the business. For those who've been with us, for those who left us, for those who just joined us, thank you for being part of Mercato's journey. Uh, I would like to thank uh, all of our lesser partners. I would like to thank all of our strategic partners who have helped us grow the business and believed in the small food business incubation uh, concept that we had. I would like to thank all of the vendors who have, who, have, who have believed in Mercato and who have become successful and have grown and graduated out of the market uh, as a result at the same time. In particular, I'd also like to thank uh, my partners, uh, my partners from um, uh, in the Mercato app, uh, I would like to thank uh, David Almirol. I'd like to thank my partners in the Mercato Cloud Kitchen, in particular, uh, Francis Errol Medina. I'd like to thank uh, Fran uh, Edgar Allen Caper, who has been my partners over there. And of course, uh, my, my, uh, my mentors, my mentors in this business and my business partners as well. Jose Jomag Magsaysay, Potato Corner, Professor Andy Ferreria, uh, Professor Jay Bernardo. Thank you. Thank you for mentoring us uh, throughout this whole process. And um, having said that, having had all my thank yous, of course, 
God is good all the time. Thank you, dear Lord, for the inspiration behind all this one. This would not have been possible uh, without your divine intercession. Because you know, Lord, how many times I knelt down during this crisis and said, God, please help me. I don't know what to do anymore. And now, if you're going to ask me what is my piece of advice for many of the people who want to do innovation, I think, you know, what's been particularly scary during this time is that, you know, it was a bad time for many of us. We might perceive it as a bad time. But for many entrepreneurs, they don't see times as being bad or good. All they just see are opportunities out there. I often tell people being an entrepreneur is like wearing a pair of lens. I call it the entrepreneurial lens. So whether times are good or bad, just keep on wearing your entrepreneurial lens because you're always on the lookout for opportunities. Some of the best businesses emerged during crisis, during the Asian economic crisis, during the U.S. economic crisis. Uh, and during this crisis, many businesses will also emerge. But again, we want you to keep in mind that when you think of these businesses, you don't want to think of what I call pansamantala negocio or opportunistic businesses. You want to think of something that is long-term and sustainable that will survive and thrive out of this crisis. And that's the biggest thing, that in this crisis, I've learned so much. But in particular, I've learned that, you know what, just see this, just see everything through the eyes of uh, an opportunity. And uh, remember, what you're doing right now is, if it boils down to anything, the job of an entrepreneur is to turn an irritation into an inspiration. Because if I am irritated by something, and you are also irritated by something, if I can solve our common irritation, jan ako kikita ng pera. Maraming salamat, Ms. Chiki Go, at yung Mansmith Innovation Awards.